me in towns like this, we need to take back our schools. Yeah. We need to take back our jobs. Yeah. We need to take back our churches. Yeah. We need to take back our lives. Yeah. Because the liberals right now, the Democrats, that even some Republicans think that they can infringe on our rights. And our rights shall not be infringed. Yeah. Yeah. America is still great. Don't be afraid. You know what? The, the greatest insurance policy that your parents ever gave you, and everybody knows this, is that sticks and stones may break your bones, but names will never hurt you. Somebody call you a racist, keep on talking. Somebody calls you a sellout, keep on talking. Because you have to have that common sense. And that's why we're here today. That's why we are here today. To stand before you today to honor Chris Stevens, Tyrone Woods, Sean Smith, and Glenn Doherty. Americans who we cherish as our own. I just want to say to them that they are not forgotten and we still love you. My name is Wayne Dupree. I am the son of America. Don't let the color fool you because I bleed red, white, and blue just like you. Uh I just came across a story by the NAACP now jumping on Phil Robertson for some of the comments that he made in a GQ magazine. Number one, y'all, y'all some man, <laughs> you're so outdated. You're outdated and you're overreaching. You want to be part of something that nobody even brought you to the party with. Um, and it's a shame. It's a damn shame. That y'all have to try to manufacture something out of this to be relevant. You're not relevant. You, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, actually I call them Neil and Bob, but I'll let your mind run away with that. Period. We fight for this country because we believe in its greatness. We believe in its democracy. And we believe in the freedom for all citizens. And we will continue to fight and defend and preserve those freedoms for our citizens. The real reason why we're here today, July 15th, here on Freedom Plaza, is because we hear the battle cries in Washington calling for us Americans to stand up and fight. My name is Wayne Dupree. For many of you that know me, I am known as the News Ninja on WayneDupree.com or NewsNinja2012.com. Uh, when I started out, uh, one of the main things was I wanted to make sure that I reached as many people as I could to tell them that they don't have to stay where they are and that there's another side that they can be free in the communities. And we need people like you and you and everybody out here. Don't give up. You can't give up. So many people have given their lives in wars for you to have a voice. And you would be dishonorable to shut up and go home and be sofa generals or kitchen colonels and fuss at the TV. You have to get out and about in the community. My dad used to ride into the community. And lost. Last year today, this evening, reports are that forces were told to stand down instead of fly and fight. Last year today, later tonight, Word would have gone out that because of a video, the consulate was attacked, killing four Americans. March. 
My friends, these four men didn't have to die. America and the international community, don't, they didn't have to be lied to because of a video that nobody had seen. Susan Rice didn't have to go on the talk shows, the many talk shows, and follow orders to lie. Now, the, <laughs> the NAACP sent a letter to A&E saying that Phil, Robert, um, that Phil attacked blacks and the gay community. They even put into the letter that he equated gays and bestiality, which he didn't do. He did not equate gays and bestiality. Go back, look at the transcript, you'll find the truth. From other states, all over this nation, that we care about our country. And we care about illegal immigrants filtering into our country. This is not racist. Let me say that again. This is not racist. This is an American thing. Let me tell you a quick story if you allow me a few minutes. In 2008, I crossed the road from a liberal plantation to the freedom, feel, to the freedom fields of liberty and personal responsibility. Washington Compost. I did not want to elect a man based on race. I wanted to elect someone that I could judge by his character That's right. and look at the embodiment of his past work to make an informed decision. And during that 2008 election, I was awakened to an alternative universe in which I found that I've been sleeping for most of my lifetime. Side story <coughs> to the parents. They tried to bully your daughter, and now they're trying to bully you. And it sucks that this nation has gotten to that point. I wish that it was not like that. It's, all, it's going to take us as a family yes. to change it. It's going to take time, because actually, it took time to get here. Now it's going to take time to change it. The only thing that we have to do is lockstep, arm in arm, and show that we aren't going anymore. Okay? Don't let don't, don't let anything rock you, darling. Don't let anything rock you. You go in school, you get your you get your grade, you go in a little smile. Because guess what? God loves you and so do we. We love you. We love you. Like Alan said, we elected the people that are in Congress right now. And for some reason, they think they know better than us because we elected them. But we'll always remember, your voice is strong if you stand together. If you stand together. Jared stood for something. He stood for freedom of speech. And they tried to shut him up. Back in 2008 is when I gained my common sense. During the presidential election, there was a, I, actually I was gonna vote Democrat. I was, I was gonna vote for Hillary Clinton. I thought Clinton was gonna come in and fix what Bush did and everything was gonna be fine in the nation and everything. And all of a sudden a black man went out. I, I was like, well, I don't care because I don't know nothing about him so I'm not gonna support him anyway. But what the Democratic Party did and I'm, and I'm sure every one of you saw this, but what the Democratic Party did and what the liberals jumped in and helped was they created an atmosphere of racism. Just like you, we will never forget. The Obama administration has been lying to protect the truth for over a year. Didn't you find it strange that liberal news stations can get interviews with a few of the Libyans on the FBI most wanted list? but our government can't locate them. It's a travesty that John Kerry and Barack Obama can get on the TV today and tell you that they know for certain that Syria's president gassed its own people, but they can't tell you the truth that the attack last year wasn't due to a video that nobody watched on YouTube. Because they're trying to destroy our children. 
That's right. They're doing it through pop culture. Yeah. They're doing it through these reality shows. Yeah. They're doing it through the music. And we need people like John Jarrett. Yeah. And people like Sean. Yeah. And Alan. Yes. And the brothers. Yeah. We need to show America this template right here in Logan. Yeah. Yep. yeah. But before, but before I end this, I just want to let you know, I was telling somebody earlier, this is a template. America needs to see this template. Y'all stood behind Jared. If more, if more cities, if more towns see you standing up, then they'll stand up. Put it on the TV. Yeah. Put it on the radio. Yeah. Make more signs. Create more websites. Take more pictures. Yeah. Show America that we stand together and we're going to stand to protect this country. Yeah. God bless America.